what's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I want to start this episode off by just letting you know um, I'm about to switch over to a different editing software so I don't know how I will do with the new editing software. Uh, I want to get that out so if there's any uh, weird things going on in the video um, just want to let you know in advance. Um, hopefully I'm switching over to Adobe Premiere which is what a lot of professional like filmmakers and stuff use so hopefully it's a uh, issue free but I am going to be learning a whole new platform so I don't know uh, what I can add, what I can change or um, anything right now because as of right now I don't know too much about the software um, other than it should give me a lot of uh, higher end videos in the future so I'm going to try to make that change I just want to let you know in case anything weird goes on. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I'm just getting ready to go to a meet here in Split, Croatia. Um, overall feeling good, finally well rested after six days of like kind of rough sleeps and weird time zone changes. Um, but feeling pretty good right now. Got my five hour energy, which is my secret tool for throwing. Um, let me see if I can zoom out. There we go. Um, so yeah, I think I'm ready to go. I mean, don't have a lot of adrenaline right now. It's a kind of small, low key meet. so. Uh, We'll see how I feel and see how I throw. I'm going to try to bring my camera with me and uh, set it up to get some throws, try to record the competition, because um, there's only a few throwers, so it should be pretty quick. Um, but hopefully I can get a throw. I don't know if like being relaxed and not having too much adrenaline will be good, or if uh, I'll get some adrenaline when I'm there, maybe pick up the speed and whatever. I really do not know what to expect at all right now. Um, first like small meet like this in like a few years that I've had. Um, so looking forward to it. Hopefully I can throw something far. Hopefully if I go 63 and a half or better, um, that should be about enough to qualify me for world championships. So we'll see. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get after it and get something big. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll get some videos and I'll talk to you after. So the meet didn't quite go as planned. I, I went in and I, I was feeling well rested, I was feeling good, and I thought I was ready to go. Um, there was relatively low energy at the meet, and uh, the circle that we decided to throw in, there was um, a bit of a tailwind from the regular circle that we throw in, uh, which is this one right here. Uh, so we moved to the other side of the field, and it was... Uh, a, like a really slippery ring so uh, a lot of people were having problems so that's why you see me here like putting chalk on the ground um, there's also a couple other throwers that were putting chalk on the ground as well just to try to get any grip that we could get um, so the circle's really slippery and I slipped on round two uh, out of the back of the circle right here and that really threw me off for the rest of the competition my my first throw was around like 60 61 meters second throw was around like 61 62 even though I slipped and after that, I was just like nervous the whole time and I felt rested, but I just wasn't firing the way that I thought I would. There wasn't much energy in the competition. So I can make excuses all day, but overall it was just not a great meet. And it was the first meet in a while that I've uh, left the meet just feeling like, wow, that, that just <laughs> did not go how I wanted it to at all. And really uh, felt disappointed afterwards. 
Um, luckily, I've got two more meets this year, so I'm trying to re-peak again a little bit. So I uh, just tried to like get a little bit sore in the weight room today. Tried to hurt, like not hurt myself, but uh, you know, just yeah, get the muscles firing uh, more than I have uh, the last couple of weeks when I was trying to peak. Um, so hopefully, I throw next Wednesday. It's Monday right now. So hopefully, I can uh, re-peak again um, and just get my nervous system firing and ready to go. Um, I was talking with Stipe and Stipe was saying like for him even traveling it takes like you know, up to like eight days or so to adjust to the time change so I, I felt good and this was at the uh, I guess seven day point uh, we got in on Sunday last week and it was Sunday uh, th this week so uh, it was like a full seven days but uh, just still wasn't quite enough uh, for my body to feel ready and like, I felt rested so I felt pretty good but it just wasn't doing what it uh, what it should have been doing. So overall, really disappointing me, and it's one of those meets that I, I I leave that meet, and the only thing that I've got going through my head is like, wow, this is such a horrible feeling. I never want to feel this feeling again. So um, whether it's trying to get more sleep, uh, trying to eat better, or or something, just to never have to feel that feeling again. Um, I really want to do that. So I, I use the meat as motivation. I don't look at it as a really crappy thing to happen. Um, and it is what it is, you know. It's uh, one, one of those meets. Everyone has them. Um, unfortunately, it's when I'm trying to qualify for the world championships. Um, when I know I'm definitely capable of doing it, but it just wasn't there today. So things I do have to look forward to, trying to repeak. i uh, got a meet on, uh, in, a, I guess, a week and two days now. So gonna try to get ready for that it's a uh, Zagreb I think there's a lot of people that typically throw pretty well there uh, so hopefully there's just a few people there a few more people than we're at this meet and uh, a better energy so if I can use that to fire myself up and I'm feeling rested up at that point um, I think a big thing can come if not uh, like the next day I fly to the Canadian Championships so that time change might kind of wreck me the good thing is like Philip was talking about that the uh, uh, the time change going back on like the first day is uh, the, one of the better ways to uh, try to compete in a meet. So as long as I compete immediately, uh, maybe I won't have time to get tired. So we'll see. It's going to be what it is. Uh, worst case scenario, I've got to get surgery on my wrist. So I'll fly back to Canada, um, compete in the competition. Once that's over, I'll go back to Virginia, get surgery on my wrist and start the rehab process so I can throw a shot put again next year. Um, it should be probably like three months of... Uh, not being able to do too much with my wrist, but I think after that point, uh, doctor was saying like it should be uh, getting back to like a pretty good percentage of health uh, to be able to actually throw a shot put again. Uh, maybe take some light shot puts and start practicing, getting reps in again. So really looking forward to that, and that's my worst case scenario. So it's uh, still a positive thing to come out of it. So hopefully we can do that. Anyway, thank you very much for being here. If you made it to the end of this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one, and until then, I hope you have the best day ever. Take care of business, get things done, smile, and go far. I'll see you guys in the next one.